Today I'm joined by Braxton. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's all good. Happy to be here. So you are associated through your studies with Flight Centre Travel Academy. How did you get started? So I got started sort of with um, mainly just sort of I always wanted to work in tourism. So straight out of school, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. Um, I picked up work um, doing a as a tourism training for my local council. And that's sort of where I really was like, okay, this is something I really want to pursue in life. Um, obviously COVID sort of thwarted everyone's plans and um, sort of did the same with mine, but um, sort of had a couple of months off and just worked at different jobs. And then I sort of had a look online for tourism opportunities as everything sort of started to slow down. And I found out about this opportunity through SEEK um, and I put my name through and we sort of just went from there. Awesome. So what, what are you doing? Can you explain to us what it is that you're studying and what's a day in the life sort of like for you? So at the moment, I'm doing a diploma of tourism through Torrens University, um, which is an association with, with Flight Centre Travel Academy. So talking with the guys from Flight Centre, they've helped me find work at Daydream Island up in the Whit Sundays. Um, I've always wanted to go to the Whit Sundays, so to actually be living here um, is quite an experience and something that I'm really proud of because it's somewhere I've always wanted to go. Um, so I currently work at Daydream. Um, I work off the island, so I catch the barge to and from each day, um, which is probably my favorite part of the day, commuting to work on a boat, because not a lot of people get to say, oh, I got, went to work on a boat today, um, which is really exciting. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, what an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. So um, Daydream Island, is it just absolutely amazing? And what do you love most about Daydream and this program? Um, Daydream Island is, yeah, it's first day going into it, um, having my induction. Popped on the barge, I was obviously very nervous about sort of getting to show the place, but I got there and they showed you around the whole island. And there's just, it's just amazing. There's so much to do. Um, I think a good opportunity is that the staff there are really sort of dedicated and they don't want to hold you in one spot. So I've actually spoken to my supervisors about moving around. So they're very lenient with you sort of wanting to move and work in different departments, which is really cool. But um, it's just an experience, I guess. Like not everyone gets to say they work on an island yeah. every day, which is quite cool. Yeah, it's so cool. So can you tell us something that most people wouldn't know about Flight Centre Travel Academy? Um, I think one thing that a lot of people wouldn't know is that they're very dedicated to their students, if that makes sense. So um, in my case, um, it was sort of a iffy question about if I wanted to actually move to the Whit Sundays. Just obviously I had to find accommodation, but the thing with Flight Center is that they were really helpful. So they actually helped you find a job and they said, look, there's this job here. And then they said, okay, we can help you find accommodation, obviously. Um, they said you can work, live on the island or you can live off the island. In my case, I didn't want to live on the island. Um, I prefer to live off island and sort of have that time to experience off the island. So they were very um, helpful with sort of saying, okay, we've got this accommodation that you can look into or this backpack is here which you can look into. And they were just really helpful in the whole process of actually moving from your hometown up to the Whit Sundays here, which was just really good. And like always talking to you, which was superb. <laughs> So they're a really good support base. Like they're basically, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about doing work, study and play? Um, I think some advice I would give them is sort of, just sort of go for it. Like don't really second guess it because it's one of those things where if you don't go for it now, you might be thinking in a couple months time, oh, I really wish I did that. Or I really wish I did this. I think it's just a matter of putting your name forward and just, getting it done. It's just an experience. And I think that was the big thing with me is I wanted to experience this and obviously life changes and you can do different things, but if you put your name forward, it's a good way to get your door in that industry that you want to work in. Yeah. So why do you think that the travel and tourism industry is the best industry ever to be involved in? Well, I think just because it's ever changing and obviously it's one of the biggest industries in the world and supplies so many jobs and it's just, one of those things where you can 
move around and not be stuck in the same spot. So you can do hospitality, you can go and do cultural things and events and things like that. And I just think because it's ever changing and it, it can take you around the world essentially. So if you're one of those people who's really into traveling and wanting to learn about different cultures, definitely get involved in tourism, which is a big thing that I want to do. So, Yeah, absolutely. So what advice would you give your former high school self? You're probably not that long out of high school, but if you could look back at your time oh. at high school, <laughs> what advice would you give yourself? Um, I think advice I'd give my high school self is you don't have to have all the answers now. I think... Um, a lot of teach, not all teachers, but I think there's a lot of pressure on young people to sort of decide what they want to do as soon as they finish high school. Like you have to know your career path right then and there. No, you don't. Like you do not. You can do different things and just for my high school self who was very sort of unsure about what the future held, um, I just tell her to calm down. Everything will work out and you can just figure it out as you go. You don't have to pick your job right from the get go. Yeah, absolutely. So what sort of skills and personal attributes do you think you need to have um, in the travel and tourism industry? What what sort of people do you think that are best suited to, to this industry? Um, I think people who are exceptionally hardworking sort of really like that customer interaction. So obviously with tourism, you meet so many people from all over the globe and all over Australia. I think you definitely have to be a very sort of enthusiastic and sort of in front of people type of person you have to sort of be very encouraging and be good with that customer interaction i think that's a big thing so if you're sort of not as much into customer service it may not be for you but if you're really enthusiastic about meeting new people and interacting then this is definitely something that you can get involved in yeah absolutely um and just finally why would you recommend um students look into the services of flight center travel academy if they're interested in, in going down the this sort of this sort of career path i think that looking forward if you're interested in getting into tourism flight center is definitely a good place to start obviously they have so many branches across australia and if you can get your foot in the door and do this diploma and get some study done um it's a good opportunity for you to say look i want to work with flight center and get your foot in the door into the tourism industry from there, you can work your way up and work in Flight Centre, you can do Travels Consultant, and I just think it's a really good starting point for someone who wants to get more involved in tourism and travel. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Braxton. I'm very jealous of your job on Daydreamer. Daydream I wonder if <laughs> I was there right now, and um, yeah, we appreciate your time. It's all good, thank you. <laughs>